I welcome all of you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, gathered here this morning to bid farewell to a man whom, in the words of the Apostle Paul, we could say has run the race to the finish, has fought a good fight, and has kept the faith, and now awaits the crown of glory. Welcome in a special way, His Excellency Luigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. His Grace, His Grace Emmanuel Obo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Tororo, who is also a main celebrant. His Grace John Baptist Odama, the Archbishop of Gulu. Normally jokes that he's the Archbishop of Heaven, so he has come down to us from heaven. Most welcome. All your excellencies, priests and religious, most welcome and thank you for standing with us in this trying moment. In a very special way, even though in absentia she's yet to arrive, I welcome Her Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda. We thank her for making time to be here today. And I'm sure Bishop Wandera must have been the one who confirmed her in the faith. And so it is just proper for her to be here to bid him farewell. All honorable ministers and members of parliament, if there any here present, religious leaders from other denominations, I see my brothers from Church of Uganda here and others, most welcome. Thank you for joining us in this moment of treatment. Welcome all cultural leaders and all, all you people of God, most welcome and thank you for uh, coming to celebrate the life of this man who ministered to the people of Teso with dedication and above all the founding father of Soroti Catholic Diocese. Thank you. May I now invite His Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda to deliver the Holy Father's message together with his own message and thereafter His Grace Emmanuel will lead us in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Thank you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I would like to greet all of you, the bishops, the distinguished civil authorities, the clergy, the religious, and all the faithful present in this celebration of liturgy when we remember and we pray for the late Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Bandera. First of all, I would like to transmit the message and the apostolic blessing of His Holiness. He sent heartfelt condolences to the diocese, the clergy, the religious, and all the faithful. United, we hold a thanksgiving for Bishop Andera's many years of devotely priestly and episcopal ministry, His Holiness joins Rose gathering for the solemn funeral rites in praying that God may grant him the reward of his labors and welcome his soul into the peace and joy of his heavenly kingdom. To all who mourn the late bishop's passing, the Holy Father cordially imparts his apostolic blessing as a pledge of hope in consolation in Christ, the firstborn of the dead. And also I would like, as Apostolic Nuncio, representative of His Holiness for Princes to Uganda, to express my heartfelt condolences to the Diocese of Soroti, the Bishop, Joseph Sigoliach, the priest, the religious, men and women, the faithful, and to the family members on this said occasion of the death of his Lordship Desiderius Erasmus Bandera, Bishop Emeritus of Soroti. I also extend my condolences to the Archdiocese 
Kostrakovo, il metropolitano Archibishop, il scherzo Marmelotto, il successo in Sorotti, il ecclesiastico in Provis, Trovo, e il grande episcopal conference in the world Catholic Church in Uganda. The Church is grateful to God and to Him for His generous pastoral ministry in the vineyard of the Lord as a priest in his diocese of Tororo and as the first bishop of Sorot. The late bishop had the great joy and honor to receive the Pope St. John Paul II on his historic pastoral visit in Soroti on the 9th February 1993 for the celebration of a Holy Mass. A bishop as a good shepherd and father is in the service of the holy people of God in his life and in his death. Now the dead bishop is united with Jesus in his death, death in the